first book was uh, was on Heidegger, and uh, I was actually finishing that book when I was living in Japan, uh, and and I found that it was much easier for me to talk about the things I was really interested in Heidegger, especially the problem of the will and notion of Gelassenheit. Uh, it was much easier to talk about that with my Japanese colleagues than it was with my um, American colleagues. Uh, and so I thought, found that really interesting. Of course, I was already, you know, deeply involved in Zen practice at that point. So I think my way of reading Heidegger was already sort of influenced from that direction. But uh, I do think there's some differences. And let me let me um, mention two very, very sort of briefly. In my, my book, Heidegger and the Will, I have a short uh, section of a chapter called uh, let's see if I can remember the title of that section now. From Being Towards Death to the Great Death, an Exhortation from Zen. And I think what Heidegger, the early Heidegger now we're talking about, what he, t what he talks about is being towards death. I think the Zen response to that is you've got to go all the way. And so Zen talks about undergoing the great death. Uh, and I think that's can be understood in the direction that Heidegger is going, but it's it's a step further. Uh, it's a step further that sort of changes everything in a way. So if you want to know more about that, read the section in that in that book, Heidegger and the Will. The second thing I'd like to say, because it actually I was just reading about this this morning, my ongoing reading and study of uh, of Ueda uh, Shizuteru. Uh, this is the this is the uh, the final um, uh, volume in his collected works, volume. Uh, 11, I guess, 11, uh, and it's called What is What is Religion? Shukyoto wa nanika. And he, his main sort of philosophy is, is he, he borrows Heidegger's phrase, being in the world. But he says, uh, again, we need to go one step further, and he form, reformulates that as being in the twofold world. Niju sekai nai sonzai is his Japanese phrase for that. And his uh, sort of again, Zen sort of understanding uh, or, or rearticulation of this is that we're always being in the world. The world now being that context of meaning, that kind of that totality of significance, as Heidegger talks about. Right. So everything is uh, is useful as something. Everything has an as structure. We're we're constantly living in this in this web of meanings. You could say the world for us is this web of, of meanings. But Ueda's point is that that web of meanings is always situated in turn within a more open expanse. And he uses a traditional Buddhist term for this open expanse called the uh, uh, koku in, in Japanese. Now, he recognizes uh, that Heidegger, the later Heidegger, also talks about, in fact, uh, in the book that I translated by Heidegger called uh, Country Path Conversations, Heidegger talks about um, the horizon Right, that horizontal world of meanings that we live in is always situated within what he calls the gegnet, uh, which I translate as the open region. And so I think a fruitful kind of comparison with Ueda's Zen philosophy and, and Heidegger's uh, later philosophy, especially in, in country path conversations and elsewhere, is between this idea of the open region in which our human horizons, our, our human worlds of meaning are situated uh, and what uh, Ueda talks about as, as the twofold world.